Hello everyone, I'm Chen Xizhao. I come from China. Today I want to introduce the content of employee relations. I pick one aspect of the content is balancing employer security and employee rights. There are three points in there. The first one is workplace monitoring. The second one is employer investigations. The last one is substance abuse and drug testing. Okay, what is uh, workplace monitoring? Workplace monitoring is a practice that involves keeping an eye on activities and the conditions in your workplace for health, security, and uh, business reasons. There are a number of tools that can be used for this task and the employers can use the information they collect in the variety of ways. For the new technologies, it is uh, possible for employers to monitor many aspects of their employees' jobs, especially on telephones, computer terminals, through electronic and voicemail, and when employees are using the internet. Such monitoring is virtually unregulated, therefore unless company policy specifically states otherwise, and even this is not assured. Uh, uh, your employer may listen, watch, and read most of your workplace communications. Uh, there is uh, an example about uh, Jiangsu Huning Steel Company. It is a very famous Chinese steel enterprise. Uh, Mr. Lu has worked in this company for three years. He is the project manager and his duty is to manage a huge construction team Mr. Lu has to check work at the construction scene every day. He told me he always found some problems of workers, such as work lazy and uh, quality problems. He thinks the workplace monitoring is very important because he can find the problems and solve them in time. It also can avoid the project delays. Okay, if there has uh, conflicts in the workplace monitoring, the answer is yes. Work employers want to be sure their employees are doing a good job, but employees don't want to be monitored. That's an essential conflict of workplace monitoring. Uh, this, is, this chart is about employee opinions on workplace monitoring. There are two parts um, on it. The first one is organizations have the right uh, to monitor employees' internet use. The second part is about organizations have the right to read employees' emails. We can see that most uh, employees uh, don't mind their employers to check their uh, internet in the workplace, but for the emails, they really care about it because they don't want their emails to be checked or monitored because some private uh, informations in the emails. Uh, employers argue that workplace monitoring is needed to keep workplace safe, healthy, and efficient. Keeping an eye on work, uh, working conditions can allow people to spot problems like uh, theft, uh, harassment, and the improper conduct early before they become a problem. For business handling, security, or uh, confidential information monitoring may be used to ensure that client um, privacy is protected. Monitoring can also provide a clear safety benefits for employees. The example is for construction industry. Um, this company will face uh, some risk because some workers taken to operations um, cause potential safety hazards. Mr. Lu ha uh, have to um, get workers to take up safety uh, operations in the workplace. So workplace monitoring is necessary in organizations. Employers have to adopt some suitable uh, methods to monitor their employees. Okay, the next part is about employer investigations. What is the purpose of an investigation? The purpose of an investigation is to determine the course of the incident, to identify any unsafe conditions, 
acts or procedures that contributed to the incident and to recommend uh, corrective action to prevent similar incidents. As we know that any workplace investigation requires judgment calls about what issues to investigate, who to include in the internal investigation, and ultimately who to believe. Although the workplace investigation is perfect, the goal should be to conduct the investigation in the fairest way possible. In all likelihood, the truth will never be certain, but uh, employers must use their best judgment. Okay, what should employers do? There are five steps about it. The first one is determine whether an investigation is needed. Employers should focus on what things should be investigated and what kind of conditions should be investigated. Different situations have own problems. So making a correct investigation is helpful for dealing with problems. The second is come up with an investigation plan. Um, there are two steps about it. The first one is choosing an investigator and another is identify witness and uh, documents to be revealed. The third is about uh, in identify and use appropriate investigation tools. There are five tools about it. The first one is inter uh, interviews of witness. Uh, the, third, the, the second is review of paper and uh, electronic documents. The next is search of individuals, computer, desk, and other workplace uh, space. And uh, fourth is monitoring of computer and internet use. The last one is drug testing. Okay, the fourth is about special considerations. Special consideration can help um, employers to be aware of several potential problem areas that may uh, affect their ability to conduct investigations. The last one is concluding the investigation and the taking action. Okay, the example also is about Mr. Lu's company. Mr. Lu told me a story which occurred in his company was about investigations. A man wanted to get a job about the driving cream, and uh, through the personal background investigation, the manager found the man had a history of chronic alcoholism, so he lost the opportunity of the job in the end. The last part is about the substance abuse and drug testing. What is the workplace drug testing? Drug testing is one action an employer can take to determine if employees or job applicants are using drugs. It can identify evidence of recent use of alcohol, um, prescription drugs, and illicit drugs. Why do employers drug test? Uh, we know that alcohol and uh, drug abuse create um, significant safety and uh, health hazards and can result in decreased uh, um, productivity and the poor employee morale. It also can lead to additional costs in the form of health care claims, especially short-term um, disability claims. There are some reasons for employers uh, impl implement drug testing. We can see that the deter employees from abusing alcohol and drugs, prevent hiring uh, individuals who use illegal drugs, and uh, protect the general public and uh, instill consumer confidence that employees are working safely. So all of these reasons are meaning to keep the workplace developing healthy. And although some testing may refer to um, individuals' privacy, it is still worth to take it, to take it because um, employers should adopt some legal muscles to protect the employees. Em employees, yeah. Okay, what are policies when product drug testing? There are three policies in there. The first one is recommend 
um, testing of everyone at periodic inter intervals. The second is testing only in cases of probable cause. The last is testing after accidents. These policies can be regarded as the rules when employers conduct drug testing. It can protect the employees' rights and privacy. Employers should comply with the policies in management. All right, that's all the content of employee relations. This is the reference. If you want to learn more about employee relations, you can use them. Thank you for listening. Have a good day.